What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net instead of Adobe After Effects, and this is something that I should, should have shown earlier. And so, uh, this one right here, what we're going to do is, uh, as you can see here, we can see our 0, our 10 frame, 20 frame, and then our 1, and then 10, 20, and then 2, 10, 23, and so forth and so on. But what if you wanted to get really deep inside of your frames and you needed to animate or you needed to work deep inside of a frame? What you do is that you come over here and you see this little bitty zoom in, zoom out. You got that little bitty mountain right there. Then you got this zoomed out mountain right here or zoomed in mountain. You got a zoomed out mountain here and a zoomed in mountain here. So what you do is that you use this little scroll here and then you actually drag it out and then it is going to make your frames show up so now we can see our five and then you keep on going and let's go ahead and drag this out and now we can see all of our frames and so with that right there I mean instead of grabbing a hold of this you can easily use your scroll bar up top as well so you got two ways of doing this you can either drag your scroll or you can come down here and use this and so what this will allow you to do is that you can actually go in and pinpoint a frame so now you can actually work with each individual frame so that you can do the animation the way you want it done see right here we've got our animation sitting on our 10th frame right here and so if we wanted to actually move that animation, we can actually move that animation onto a fifth frame or a fourth, third, second, or even the very first frame. And we can do it precisely and be exactly where we want it to be at. And so this right here allows you to really go in and add deep detail into your project without having to sacrifice anything. And so anyway, this is Wayne Brown, DarkFakes.net. Y'all have a rocking week now. Bye-bye.